In the heart of the Gloucestershire countryside lies Wichester Mansion, an unfinished 19th century Gothic revival masterpiece. As visitors approach the mansion, they may feel a chill in the air, a sense of unease settling upon them. For within these abandoned walls, echoes of a haunted past reverberate and the spirits of those long gone still linger. One of the most frequently reported apparitions at Woodchester Mansion is that of a tall man wearing a hat. This mysterious figure is believed to be the spirit of a worker who tragically died during the mansion's construction. Sightings of this ghostly man are common throughout the mansion as he wanders through the empty corridors and rooms, seemingly lost in time. Numerous accounts of this ghostly man have been shared by those who have ventured within the mansion. He seems to be searching for something, perhaps a resolution to his untold story, or a way to find peace in the afterlife. Sightings of this spectral figure are common throughout the mansion as he wanders the empty corridors and rooms, forever lost in time. Witnesses often describe feeling an overwhelming sense of sadness and loss when encountering this phantom worker. It is as if the very atmosphere of the mansion has absorbed the despair and regret that surrounds his tragic demise. This empathic connection to the ghostly figure is a testament to the power of the spirit world and the imprint that the departed can leave upon the living. As visitors continue to explore Woodchester Mansion, they may find themselves crossing paths with this tall hat-wearing spirit, sensing his presence in the cold spots that may suddenly appear, or hearing his footsteps echoing through the abandoned halls. The legend of this lost worker has become an integral part of the mansion's eerie allure, a chilling reminder of the tragic history that lies hidden within its walls. Exploring the sprawling grounds surrounding the mansion, they might be fortunate, or perhaps unfortunate, enough to catch a fleeting glimpse of a ghostly horseman riding near the entrance of the estate. The identity of this phantom rider remains shrouded in mystery, leaving visitors and paranormal investigators alike intrigued and eager to uncover the truth behind this spectral figure. Some speculate that the ghostly horseman could be a former owner or a member of the gentry still patrolling the property to ensure its safety and security, even in the afterlife. Others believe that the phantom rider may be connected to a long-forgotten tragedy or a secret love affair that once unfolded within the mansion or on its grounds. Whatever the truth may be, the presence of this eerie figure serves as yet another powerful reminder of the property's rich and elusive history. Witnesses often describe the ghostly horseman as a fleeting apparition, his translucent form appearing and disappearing in the blink of an eye. The sound of phantom hooves can sometimes be heard pounding the earth, adding to the chilling atmosphere and leaving those who hear it questioning their own senses. As visitors continue their exploration of the Woodchester Mansion grounds, they may find themselves reflecting upon the enigmatic horseman and the countless other astral accounts that have been woven into the fabric of this extraordinary estate. The ghostly rider serves as a haunting testament to the mansion's past, adding yet another layer of intrigue to an already fascinating and eerie location. In the haunting atmosphere of Woodchester Mansion, yet another spirit captures the attention and imagination of those who visit the property. The ghostly apparition of a young girl, her ethereal presence, both enchanting and unsettling, has been spotted wandering the mansion's grounds. Her connection to the property remains an enigma, and her silent journey through the gardens sparks curiosity and empathy in those who cross her path. The young girl's sad, searching eyes seem to convey a sense of longing, as if she's looking for something or someone long lost in the annals of time. Visitors often feel an inexplicable desire to comfort this forlorn spirit compelled by the sorrow that seems to emanate from her very essence. 
Some speculate that she may have once been a resident of the mansion, perhaps the daughter of a previous owner, and that her spirit remains tethered to the estate by a tragic event or an unresolved emotion. As the young girl roams the gardens and meandering pathways of the mansion's grounds, she leaves an enduring impression on the hearts of those who witness her spectral presence. Her story, though shrouded in mystery, serves as a poignant reminder of the powerful connections that bind the living and the dead. They may also find themselves more generally catching fleeting glimpses of other apparitions and shadowy figures that seem to reside within the mansion's walls. These spectral presences, each with their own untold stories and enigmatic origins, serve as a testament to the multitude of spirits that are believed to haunt the property, making it a true paranormal treasure trove. The chilling encounters with these elusive entities can range from the subtle to the startling. Visitors may hear disembodied whispers in empty rooms, feel the brush of an unseen presence, or even see objects move inexplicably, seemingly propelled by an invisible force. Each of these experiences adds to the growing lore surrounding the mansion, fueling speculation about the identities and motivations of the spirits that continue to dwell within its haunted halls. Some believe that these apparitions and shadowy figures are echoes of the past, remnants of the lives that once played out within the mansion and on its grounds. Others theorise that the unfinished nature of the building itself may have created a portal between worlds, drawing in restless souls and providing them with a place to manifest their otherworldly energies. Unexplained footsteps have also been heard echoing in the empty rooms and hallways, as if unseen inhabitants still walk among the living. These mysterious sounds further reinforce visitors' own questioning as to whether they are truly alone in the eerie stillness of the abandoned building. Other strange phenomena include the slamming of doors without any apparent cause, startling those present further adding to the unsettling atmosphere that pervades the mansion. This inexplicable phenomenon leaves visitors feeling as though they are being watched or followed by a presence unseen. Deeper still within the shadowy recesses of Woodchester Mansion, visitors have reported experiencing the spine-tingling phenomenon of faint, ghostly music emanating from its forgotten corners. The source of these haunting melodies remains an enigma as the ethereal notes seem to drift through the air, captivating the listener with their haunting beauty while at the same time sending shivers down their spine. This otherworldly music has led to much speculation and intrigue among those who have had the opportunity to hear it. Some believe that the melodies are the echoes of past celebrations or gatherings, perhaps lingering remnants of joyous occasions long since faded into history. Others suggest that the music is the work of a spirit, a talented musician or composer who once lived within the mansion's walls and now seeks to share their art with the living. The ghostly music seems to possess a magnetic quality drawing visitors towards it with an irresistible pull. As they follow the sounds through the dimly lit corridors and silent rooms, the listeners may feel as if they are being guided by the unseen hands of the musician, leading them on a journey through the mansion's hidden secrets and forgotten stories. Venturing down into the dark depths of Woodchester Mansion's cellar, Visitors may find themselves overwhelmed by an extraordinary sense of unease and dread. This oppressive atmosphere seems to weigh heavily on those who dare to explore this hidden part of the mansion, as if they are entering a place that is both unwelcoming and foreboding. The intensity of these emotions has led some paranormal investigators to speculate that the cellar may be home to a malevolent presence. Perhaps such a presence was drawn to the unfinished nature of the building, 
or to the tumultuous emotions and energies that were experienced within its walls, thereby taking up residence in the cellar, casting a shadow of darkness and fear over the area. Others suggest that the area holds the residual energy of a dark event from the building's past. For example, a violent or tragic incident, the memory of which has been imprinted on the very fabric of the space, leaving behind an atmosphere that is thick with sorrow and pain. As visitors descend into the cellar, they may find themselves confronted with inexplicable phenomena, such as sudden drops in temperature, unexplained sounds, or the sensation of being watched by an unseen presence. Sudden drops in temperature and localised cold spots are not uncommon throughout the mansion. These unexplained phenomena are associated with the presence of spirits or paranormal activity, leaving visitors questioning what unseen forces may be at work within the abandoned building. The haunting tales of Woodchester Mansion, woven together in a tapestry of mystery and intrigue, captivate those who visit this enigmatic place. The spirits that dwell within the abandoned rooms and corridors bear witness to a bygone era, their stories forever etched into the fabric of this remarkable building and its surrounding grounds.